Welcome to Fire Pinto's Garage. My name is Nate. This is the 1979 Ford Pinto. I call her Warhorse. She only does battle on track, so don't get your feathers all ruffled. <clears throat> but um, trying to get this channel back up and going again. Some of you have been a subscriber for many, many years. Not sure how many people still are watching the channel, but uh, I moved a lot of my older YouTube videos off of YouTube onto Odyssey. Um, feel they're a little safer there. <laughs> um, but if you go over to Odyssey, you can uh, subscribe to Fire Pinto there also, and uh, you can drop a tip. Um, nice thing about Odyssey is you're a always monetized unlike YouTube which uh, it's a good time to say if you are not subscribed please subscribe um, I think I'm around a little over 800 subscribers right now I'll need a thousand subscribers to uh, become monetized here and many 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 viewing hours so please subscribe share these videos and uh, let's get into what's going to be happening around here so kind of doing the bucket list thing for the future going on here um, this pinto has been sitting in my backyard for many years probably decades uh, I had it out on the road around 2008 time when the world went to hell once before uh, tried to save some gas at the time I was driving this big old truck over here got about 10 miles to the gallon with that this got 23 um, this car has been in the family for quite a few years my brother and sister used to drive this car in high school. Uh, it used to be an automatic car. Um, 2.3 4 cylinder. Um, when I got it there was no engine. The engine had blown up and I used to drive a 1980 Pinto wagon which was kind of blue like this and that had a 4 speed. So I swapped that and the engine into this car. Come to find out, this car had a lower gear ratio than the, the wagon, so the gas mileage was not quite as good as the wagon. It'll do a burnout though, <laughs> one wheel burnout. So, as you can see, I gave it a paint job, just finished putting in the headlight and the grill. We have a little issue here with the stuff lining up. Got quite a big gap here, narrow gap there. I think this headlight bucket is twisted up. Um, this fender might also be pushed in. So we gotta work on that. You can also see the bumper kinda hanging down. I probably didn't put that back on right. And I have this uh, air dam down here. It's made out of uh, aluminum and uh, agricultural belting for like a hay baler. I had that. I had that made for my. Well, I made it for my Explorer. Um, I do believe I have videos on Odyssey about that for aero tweaking. I'll try to put that link in the description. So that's going on there. And I'd like to I'd like to get into drag racing. Something I always wanted to do. And drag and drive events are becoming very popular. Um, so I'd like to do one. And uh, Sick Magazine has always had Sick Week 
and this coming year, 2023, they're starting one up in my area. I live in Wisconsin, so it's southern Wisconsin, Illinois kind of area uh, called Six Summer. My goal was to get this car to that event. Um, I have the uh, Mer Cruiser 302 over there. But the plan is to go into here. Now I'll need a bell housing and a transmission to go with that. And uh, I, I thought we were going to make this goal, but. I left my job, so we are uh, no longer constrained to not uh, having my own designs. So, uh, in the future, you will probably be seeing more designs, creations coming from me without having to worry about a corporation taking. So, I'd like to uh, get this channel ramped up, possibly make a little bit of money off of it, and get this thing on the racetrack. Um, the way it's looking now, I probably won't make six summer, but uh, <laughs> next year I would like to have this engine in the car, whether it's late fall, winter, or whatever. I still like to do a little bit of bracket racing or something. However we get with that. So, but in the meantime, I have to make the car drivable. Uh, there's no floors in the front. I patched up a, a floor hole in the, on the driver's side, rear seat, floor, driver's side front has a temporary patch, very temporary, but I ordered um, some replicated four pans for the front, so I have to get those in. The interior is ugly tan, very moldy looking ugly tan. <laughs> uh, so one of the rules for um, the class I'd like to enter for the drag week is it has to have all the seats and full interior. You don't have to have a headliner. As you can see, the headliner is hanging down pretty far right now, so that's going to get ripped out. Uh, but uh, so I, I went to the junkyard and picked up. Uh, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I ripped out all the back seat and carpet and everything out of this thing a long time ago. Uh, they were nasty. So I went to the junkyard and found a Mustang 2 backseat, which is um, it's white, <laughs> very plush, very not what I needed, but it's complete and it's pretty clean, so that's what's going in there. So one of the projects you'll be seeing here is uh, painting the interior plastics with uh, white bed liner. Now, this company don't call it as much bed liner, but they'll say that uh, they say that it'll stick to plastics and things like that. So, we're going to give it a shot. See if it works. And so, it'll be a white interior, black carpet. Um, the Mustang had the black carpet. I think the door panel cards were black, but the metal of the door was painted white on the inside. So we'll go with that. Um, I have seat covers for the, the old crappy seats right now. But, um, I'll show you what those look like in another video someday. But, uh, eventually this thing will have to get actual racing seats. Um, I haven't been able to find white ones, not that that's important. But. So it'll have probably black racing seats and white 
rear seats. Um, but that's okay. So transmission is gonna be a uh, Tremec TKX. Got a quick time bell housing. And I hope it all fits in there. Um, probably show you what I did for the radiator here. I get this open. No latch on this thing. Oh wait, maybe there is. No safety latch. No spring either. Dang. All right, so <laughs> that's a two-person job right now. But anyway, I put a new radiator in it. I have videos of that too, but it's it's mounted from the front side, so it can it can be shimmed out more if I need space. But um, I'll have more videos of finishing putting that together. Um, now that was a that's kind of a temporary motor. I'd like to have this one in there. This is a 351 Cleveland 2V. Um, I bought it thinking it would just run, but there's a lot of corrosion in there. It needs a rebuild. <laughs> so. Alright, well, I think that's it for this video. Um, next video will probably be taking this all back apart here and getting that straightened out. Try to get the air dam fabricated on there. Let's see how that goes. Alright, like and subscribe and please share this video.